You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. I know tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... ...they're lost to me right now. Hm. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. This will do. Get in the water. You're not afraid of getting a little wet, are you? <sighs> My feet aren't touching the bottom anymore. It's terrifying. Do people really enjoy this? could be hiding underwater, and the drowning, and the cold. Did I mention the drowning? You pest! <sighs> you know, you didn't need to wait until I was in the water to hold me. face things without Shah. I don't want... No, don't... This is the spot. Looks like someone's left poor Saluna untended. It's 
something of a much rarer vintage. After I offered up the night song to Lady Shah, her blood was on the spear, on my hands, on my clothing. I wrung out every drop I could. Saved it for a special occasion. Let's see what comfort we can offer a grieving mother. Well, I hope you're not trying to surpass me in Lady Shah's graces. Oh, yes. Show me. evening for once. Perfect for two people who'd like to take some time to themselves, if you catch my meaning. And I do mean sex, to be clear. <laughs> We've been waiting long enough. <laughs> Let's find our own little piece of nowhere. Somewhere we can lose ourselves and forget all this madness. There's a secluded place nearby that should do nicely. Wait until the others are asleep. Then come and find me there. Indeed you will, my love. I can't wait. There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting... to have you. Sleep light. I thought you'd be exhausted after last night. Tempting, but this might not be the time or the place. Now, shall we get on? I want to go before anyone else thanks me for saving their tales. It's a poem, a gift from Casador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. 
He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. <laughs> I don't know. It's not like I can look in a mirror and see. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. I can't believe you let me do that. Killing all those people. A pleasant surprise. You sweet, sweet thing. I want what's best for you too, of course. And one wicked turn deserves another. So tell me what you desire. What can I do for my dearest pet? Oh, my sweet. There are no vampires like me. And there never will be again. But if you want the gift of eternity, I can give you that. One more bite is all it would take. That's what you want, isn't it? To be mine. Forever. Then it's everything you shall receive. I will miss the heat from those scales, though. Shall we have one last night together, before you join me in immortality? One for the road, so to speak. Then come with me, my love, and live your final night. He will always see you as degrading yourself if you continue to be with him. But perhaps you wish to degrade yourself, and he knows it. Tonight, I shall drink every drop of your blood, own your body, kill your mind. It will only hurt a bit. The pleasure will be far greater than the pain. You have given me everything. Thank you. As he drinks more and more, you feel yourself fading from consciousness. When you wake again, you will be his forevermore. Oh, 
I should probably start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. I know. Doesn't mean it stings any less. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. There's something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Two hundred years, and I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Casador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. <laughs> Exhilarating. Terrifying. Exhausting. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. Well, the person I was lay here. Dead and buried. Now I need to figure out who I am. What I want. I feel the same. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this. for long enough. It's time to try living again with everything that life has to offer. If a night of passion is an offer, I could be persuaded. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met, but I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all.
just feels so good. Freedom. True. Freedom. Finally. I can feel my strength growing. Every day that passes, I gain new abilities. You know, now that our enemies have fallen, I might be the most powerful person in the world. And as you're my consort, that makes us the most powerful people in the world. And neither would I. Together, we can do anything. The world is ours for the taking. So, what would you like? Then you shall. We'll travel the lands together, tasting everything Faerun has to offer. Perhaps we'll find somewhere we'd like to stay for a century or two. Perhaps not. We have a beautiful, bloody future to look forward to, my love. I can't be sure what it holds for us, but I know one thing. This is going to be fun! <laughs> Oh, darling, I love the way you think. We will need to be careful, of course. There are still powerful forces in the city. We can start slowly, quietly charming and manipulating key figures, building up our network of puppets. Before long, we'll have our hands on every string in the city, and they will dance however we tell them to. We have a beautiful, bloody future to look forward to, my love. I can't be sure what it holds for us, but I know one thing. This is going to be fun! <laughs> Hello, darling. I was just thinking about... freedom. How I'm... free of the parasite. Free of Cazador. How I'll never be in someone's power again. And all it cost was my life in the sun. <laughs> now I belong to the shadows. So, what happens next? True, the spawn will need someone to lead them, otherwise they'll just be a murderous, blood-sucking horde. Although, <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice you said we should find them. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. Ah, <sighs> good. Because, selfless as I am, I really did not want to let you go. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us, but I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun. this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Indeed. The curse is still present, of course. Just 
veiled, and at arm's length for now. Not a trick I can repeat often, but tonight... Tonight is different. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of... beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistra's forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime and prize the fear from my heart. I'm so very glad you came to share this with me. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're, you're very special to me. If things were different, if we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. You're a bad liar. I lived the life of a hermit for some time before I met you. Safer for all, but not conducive to pleasures of the flesh. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do, intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave. How about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. The scene is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. The sculptures, the paintings, the walls enlivened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself, and as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun take its daily dive into the sea. favorite spot. Many times, evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here, lost in words. It's called The Art of the Night, and it details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body, the exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. I say we take a page from their book. Then let's set the book aside and be blank slates on blank sheets, delightfully new. 
What do you say? The stars will be our bed. Come here. Why confine ourselves to the pleasures of mortal flesh? There's but one stitch in a vast tapestry. Let me show you more. When you wake, it will be back at our camp, back in our small, dirty, bloody patch of existence. But stay with me now. There are endless worlds out there, countless ways to declare love, infinite ways to express it. Too much for one night. shall try. Sure, I could conjure up any sight that you could dream of, and a few you could not. I could use the weave to make us feel sensations beyond reckoning. I could do more than woo you. I could wow you. Yes, you are. Trust me, I would know. Let's do it your way then, so long as it's with you. small gesture towards your comfort.
I don't think I deserve you at times. I told you of my ambitions, the likes of which many would balk at. And yet you remain at my side. Words alone are not enough. Permit me to show you. Please, close your eyes a moment. Astra Navigamos. Few mortals ever glimpse what you're about to see. But don't be alarmed. I'm here with you. Now, open your eyes. Outer plains. This is where gods dwell. They observe us from afar, where they make playthings of us. They will keep all of this from us the power, the possibilities. They only want us to serve them, to pray to them, and ultimately to die for them. But what if we didn't need them? What if we wielded their power instead and helped ourselves in all the ways they refused it? I could make that happen. I could make this illusion a reality with you by my side. Then have me, but have the best possible version of me. The tadpoles, the orb, these threats to our existence, the gods could aid us if they wished, but instead they cower behind Io. So let us act ourselves. With the power of the crown, any foe would be rendered impotent. Any obstacle would be dwarfed by our might. I used to believe Mistress Forgiveness was worth dying for. But I was wrong. You showed me just how much I have to live for. With you, I forget, my goddess. I love you. Tell me you feel the same way. Tell me you want what I want. Please. But think what I offer. The vastness of eternity to explore the weave at our fingertips. You would really prefer me as I am? Sleep, are you? I'm buzzing, honestly. I couldn't wait to talk to you. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Thank the gods. I was afraid I was the only one. Ten years is a long time to be trapped in the hells. Ten years without a kind word touch. When I look at you, 
feel real again. Alive. Gods, I want to ride you till you see stars. Ugh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't tease you, or myself. I'd give anything to touch you, but I can't. Not until I can be sure I won't burn you. I'll turn you to charcoal. Guaranteed. We can try, but don't hurt those pretty lips of yours, all right? They feature heavily in my future plans. Mm, wait, no! Are you all right? You have no idea. If I weren't so worried about killing you, I'd be in a puddle on the floor. So, what do we do now? I like the sound of that. <laughs> My turn. And that's a promise. On that note, I better head back to my bunk. You might not be able to touch me, but you've given me a lot to think about. I think the others are asleep. Why? Like a creature. Pulse. Heat. Desire. Since I met you, all I wanted was to be close to you. We're sure I won't hurt you, right? May I test that theory? I want to touch you as deeply as you can be touched. I want you to be mine, completely. Say it loud. I'm yours, Karlak. Sounds so good in your mouth. I'd like to take you to bed now. Hmm. Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. it out exactly what I want to do with you I want to go on a date a first date no weapons no monsters no mysterious voices just you and me and dinner please say yes yes oh amazing put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. Hi. 
Hi. Hi. You made it. You look nice. Thank you. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Nice and light. Sounds perfect. Huh? Two pumpkin stews, my good man. And two glasses of... And two glasses of wine. <laughs> so, you're an adventurer, right? How's that going? I know, but this is our first date, remember? Tonight, you're a mystery to me. does. There's so much about you I don't know, but I'm hungry for every part of it. <laughs> God, I'm terrible at this. I'm trying to have a first date, but I feel like I've known you all my life. No! Yes! No! We came to have a nice date, and that's what we're going to do. Go on. Date me. I dare you. Good question. And easy enough in my case. I'm afraid of dying with regret. Of living small and giving up the ghost before I've done what I came here to do. And that means going after the things I love. Including you. Your turn. You might be your own greatest fear, but you're your own greatest strength, too. I see that every time I look at you. Oh, hey! Here comes our food. Hey, uh, Hank, I think we ordered the... It's a bleeder. Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? <coughs> oh, shit! May we live every day like it's our last. I feel like, like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much, and the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, not giving up. But to be here, with you, in the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. Love you. 
And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. Come on. There's something I want to show you upstairs. Hope you like it. Close your eyes and submit. A pause, and then the flicker of a tongue across your neck. Open. Taste. You are a lapdog. Lazelle's to command. Never has domination. You awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. Of course you did. I'm as extraordinary in bed as I am on the battlefield. Love. I might give you a lay should my whim so take me, but I won't give you love. Up now. Your moment's over. Every breath, every blink proves exhausting. A long day awaits you. Don't say a word. Just listen. A parasite grips my mind. My own people hunt me, but I am gnawed by an even greater torment. You. My thoughts are hallowed ground, yet you've crawled your way in, uninvited. I'm obsessed by the ground under your feet and the wind over your head. I see your face just before I sleep and after I wake. I ask myself, are you worthy? Shackphone has to. There is only one way for you to prove it. <sighs> A fine sentiment, but I require more. We fight. I test you in battle. Dance with me. Bleed with me. Bruise me so that you might possess me. I was steel. I 
And you were silver. You are mine. Say the words. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. If only half the world had half the heart you do. But off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. <laughs> In truth, I always enjoyed a bit of pomp. I once beat the Baldron record for the most sarabans danced in a single evening, much to the exhaustion of the good ladies and gentlemen of the gate. I had years of lessons, but in truth, it's all about your partner. You cut quite a fine figure. I can just imagine leading you with an entire ballroom watching. But who am I fooling? I can't go back to that life. You drive a hard bargain, but just the one. I, <clears throat> well then, um, You've got a party to get back to. After all, tonight is about you. There will be another time for us. Since the party. I've attended my share of fancy balls and masquerades. A few elegant moves can turn all the right heads. Figured it was time to brush up on my skills. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. As luck would have it, he just arrived. May I have this dance? Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! Now, perhaps we might try a more... intimate style.
So much shadow around us. To think I almost missed the light. Well, it's getting late. We can't face the morrow if we don't bid farewell to the now. I'm tempted, trust me. I thought my heart might burst with every step. But I still keep faith in the old tales of love. The once upon a times and the happily ever afters. I'd like to do this the proper way. The way of the old romances sung by the bards. Till next time. Good night. And dream sweetly. It's funny. As the blade, I've faced untold brutes and beasts. Together, we've seen the lithid horrors most souls could merely fathom. I lived at the mercy of fiends, a devil's plaything trying to right the coast's wrong. But I've only now come to see who my true enemy's been. So you'd think, but the right answer is much simpler than that. Time. Time is so God's damned greedy. It can never give, only take. It builds mountains and deserts only to tear them asunder. It fells armies. It conquers kings, queens, even gods. We blink and we're gone. And our hopes, our memories, our heart bonds are gone with us. Lucky for us, I found a way to stop time. If just for a moment. Come, let me show you. The Wild and Oak. Legend has it it stood since the age of dawn. I used to come here and climb it when my father's eye was turned elsewhere. Daydream of the stories it might tell if I listened close enough. The dragon lords sparking the skies above it. The moon elves first plucking the strings of the weave. Standing here, I feel like I can see into forever. I've been thinking a lot about forever. More so. I've been thinking about everything that comes before, and who I want at my side as it passes. My mother always said the wild and oak's acorns held just a touch of wishing magic. If that be so, then may my greatest wish come true tonight. I love you. Will you be mine today and tomorrow and reaching into eternity? Your skin flushes and your soul sings as you palm the acorn. Wishing magic, affection, love. Whatever the cause, it's as real as the ground beneath you. Get down here already. It's time we started our happily ever after. Shining star. You are here. Good. Come with me.
Now, lie down. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. Tell me what you want. And you shall have me. As your bodies lock together, so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear. She flinches as layers of her psyche peel back, revealing the scars of a life spent anticipating a knife in the back. The memories of countless dead slain too soon. Not just enemies, but family, friends, lovers. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. <laughs> As did I. During the battle, my mind raced. My blood burned. I was righteous. But tonight, I only heard your breath and your voice. The absolute was silent. Strange to say, that brought me comfort. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. This is blasphemy. But... So much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I do not know myself anymore, except tonight. Tonight, I wanted this for myself. I must pray, and you must rest. Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. You came. I was concerned you might have had doubts, or that this might have all been too soon. As have I. It's been worth the wait. I'm almost frightened to touch you. If I give in, I may not be able to stop until I've devoured you. <laughs> Nevertheless, I will be gentle. Or at least, I will try.
Just as nature intended. Come here to me. Forgive me, I uh, lost the run of myself. Um, sometimes, if blood runs hot enough, it's difficult to tame the beast. Oh. You like it? Are you certain it will be untamed, vigorous, and... Well, large. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stelmane. The story I have told, no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. I have learned to adapt my methods to your needs. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together but few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task. But I had to persist. You don't like to be coddled, cajoled. But you responded well to logic, to rational arguments, to cold, hard facts. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. As did I. Sometimes, I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Would you like that? The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat, care, arousal.
you feel its breath merging into yours. Cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face. Its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? A memory stirs. Diagrams in a book you read long ago. The mind flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles. Everything you ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience of your life. Pleasure upon pleasure as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. It's time to get dressed. We have work to do. I am tempted, but it will be quite some time before I am uh, able to do that again. And time is not on our side. Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions, and through the crown's magic, it has complete. Con it was intelligent before, but now we must stop it while we still can. You are enveloped in myriad sensations all at once. Flaming desire and icy despair, the strength of iron, and the haze of thick swamp mist. 
The Nine Hells of Beartor. The ultimate torment, some souls would say. <laughs> Those souls lack imagination. I'm going to show you the true wages of your sin. Pure lust courses through your veins and plucks at your flesh. You don't know what you want, only that you want it. You feel it, don't you? Primal hunger, irrepressible decadence. Forget the heavens. This is paradise. Let me show you. An inferno engulfs you. Your lust blazes hot. Do you feel it? Avernus. Where Hell's legions march, screaming their rage. Where the Styx collects the blood of the fallen. Reach out. Have a taste. The flavor is exquisite as spiced wine, terrible as rotting offal. It does not quench your lust. It only stokes it. Don't worry, pet. I won't leave till you're fully satisfied. Dis, the blackened Elysium. Menauros, the rotting bog. The molten seas and soil of Thlegathos. Stygia, the frozen ocean. Choose a hell. Have your fill. Magma flows around you and into you, and the devil in you is awakened. The heat is unbearable, yet somehow not nearly enough. You crave still more. To think how you starved yourself up to this moment. To think how you chose the sweet over the bitter. One last choice. And starve no longer. Malbolgia. The desolation. The forgotten ruins of Maladomini. Cania and its mountains of ice. Or Nessus, the seat of infernal power. The endlessness of everything and nothing. Black stones, grey cliffs, and the condemned held in cages. A place to lose yourself for a blissful eternity. Take me and know the essence of the hell. you toward her, the hunger for the twin heats of Avernus and Phlegathos. Oh. In Mizora's infernal embrace, you are lost to Malbolgia. Her flesh is an endless landscape of craggy hills and deep valleys to survey. Yes, in a wink, you are reformed, a devil in spirit, if not body. For one depraved night, you feast on the sins of the body, the mind, and the soul. A lost little mouse is running through the house. A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here, little thief? 
Raphael? Ha! No. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you to pay him a visit? Hmm. Raphael all but spent himself to get that hammer. And you want to take it off him? This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. It's a surprise. Off with your clothes. Good little thief. Good. Keep going like this. And you'll get to live. You'll be crying out my name soon. You'd better know it. I am Harlot, Raphael's personal incubus, glamoured and transfigured to look like him. I'm a perfect copy. He only ever wants to sleep with himself. <laughs> What's better than the devil you know, okay. His violating stare sees more than all of you. It sees potential. Before we continue, I want to make sure you're comfortable. Sometimes, when he's feeling adventurous, Raphael will ask me to change into the Archduchess, Raphael. I can take her form if you choose. A simple swap pales in comparison to what you are about to do for me. Oh, have you? You know, you need not run away should you win. You can stay here if you wish. Very well. I will be Raphael himself. All of him. On the bed. Lie back. of resistance or control is fading. You will obey, giving yourself body and mind to them. Every kiss is as tender as a last goodbye. Every touch a lie of true love. You force your eyes open drawing yourself back to reality. I can't wait to explore how you work. What gets you going? What makes you sweat? And every time I make love in your shape, you will know. A shiver out of the blue, a tingle from beyond, you will know. Now, your reward for giving me such a present. I will tell you one, and only one, of Raphael's dirty secrets. Whisper it to me, what do you want to know? But you didn't come all this way to ask that, did you? You wouldn't sell yourself so cheaply, I hope. 
A treasure like you deserves to wrap their hands around Raphael's mightiest rod, the Orphic Hammer. Raphael hides nothing from me, can deny me nothing, aside from what he keeps in his safe. The safe lingers behind the right-hand painting of Raphael. <laughs> He almost spends more time staring at those portraits than he does at me. Although I'd love to watch you struggle to open the safe without it, this key should help. You've labored enough, pet. Now, shall we bid one another goodbye? Thank you for you. I will misuse you well. We are not in trouble, sister. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. When the music... My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. An intriguing pair. Takes me back to my youth. <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me. Or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. Menzo Baranzan love magic, a formidable practice, usually only reserved for pleasing the most insatiable matriarchs in the city of spiders. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. Ah. You're lucky, sister. Should I be jealous? At least you have good taste. If your beloved one wants to join, we could work out something to our mutual satisfaction. Two of us, two of you, four gorgeous people. There's an idea. If you're comfortable sharing, so am I. Perhaps you'd care for a little extra company. I won't pretend the thought hasn't crossed my mind once or twice. Or more than that. Oh, I suspect we shall be more than merry. Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <laughs> Coin. Let's go. This is thrilling. Play. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. In Kuela's all custom from our home, groups of five or more meet quorum to qualify as orgies. Four or fewer are simply a gathering. Legally speaking, at least. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. You know, I had a dream just like this once. A pleasant one, I hope. You were in it, so it was certainly lively. I'm surprised you needed the two of us for this to happen. 
But I am so glad it has. Oh, Imperian High Priestess. Let us worship at your altar. The drow siblings fall to their knees in mock prayer towards Shadowheart, lavishing caresses over her thighs. My, and to think some shun organized religion. I'd be more pleased if you joined them. To watch a woman flush with pleasure is one of nature's sweetest gifts. <sighs> Though perhaps you will prove even sweeter, Shadowheart. The night skips on, filled with fantasies Shadowheart seemed all too primed to suggest. Oakfather preserve you. Indeed. Thank you for inviting me. I hadn't realized you considered me a worthy accomplice in such matters. I hope you'll keep me in mind in future. Our time with those two drow was certainly bracing. Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. 